Okay, you saw in my last video how I took advantage of a jib crane, or jib boom, however you want to call it, uh, filming my daughter you know, in some flowers and doing some panning across, uh, across her as a subject. Uh, you can do that with a steady cam, but using a jib crane is a lot, lot better, a lot easier. You can get it smoother and get some high angle shots, low angle shots. Um, I'm going to show you how I made mine. So, let's, uh, first we can take a quick tour of the garage because the camera's mounted on the jib boom. I really just want to show you all the crap I have in here. Lex, okay. Anyway, let's, uh, flip it around here. In the light, and you can see that I've got it mounted on 12 feet of aluminum. Square channel that I got from Home Depot works perfectly. When I used it in the last video that I did, uh, I used an old uh, clothes rack just because it was nine dollars at Walmart, but. It was a little bit floppy, a little flimsy, so I wanted to do something a little bit better. So, as you can see, I can effortlessly move it all the way around. If I had my truck pulled out, you could might be able to get a full swing. But I can go up pretty far. Actually, it touches the ceiling above the garage door. And I could still probably go up another you know a couple of feet okay so basically what I did is I took an old monopod mount and I cut it down it was broken anyway and that gives me the ability to you know swivel the camera point it down point it up you know I can turn it however I want I just got some velcro straps holding it on there it works fine uh, if it doesn't work out I'll think of something else I just used some plywood uh, I started this project with some OSB and it just didn't hold up very well. Uh, just got some quarter twenty bolts, washers, uh, some wood screws there, and cut a couple of slots in the wood for the Velcro straps. Um, and use wing nuts just so I can take it apart and get it in my truck if I want to. Um, like I said, this is one inch square aluminum tubing, and I uh, cut it in half, just like I said, so I could get it in my truck. And what I did is I just got a uh, three-quarter inch piece of aluminum hang on let me go get that and show you okay so I got the three-quarter inch piece of aluminum what I did is I just put it in between uh, the two pieces and wrapped duct tape around them so it'd slide in there not too snug snug enough to where it'd stay in there but uh, you could also get it out and then I just ran some uh, quarter twenty nuts in there uh, washers uh, and bolts I put the string in the middle just to keep the two uh, pieces together because they do flex some not too much I just thought I'd give it a little bit extra stability back here at the back I, t I got a uh, four foot piece of square tubing I did buy these as eight foot pieces just because they had them uh, and then I decided after the fact to cut them in half but anyway uh, what I did is I just got um, plywood well this is OSB uh, drilled two holes. I think they're five inches apart. Uh, you could make them six inches apart. Just make them the same distance apart up here. You want them the same same distance. That way you get the two um, pieces of the crane parallel. I just got some angle brackets. Uh, did that on both sides. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, two pieces of plywood. This is where I was talking about the OSB just didn't hold up. It's too much weight for that. The OSB pulled out. Uh, the bolts pulled out of the OSB rather. So I got some uh, kind of finished plywood. You can get uh, smaller pieces of that at Home Depot. Also at Home Depot, right here in the middle, they have the Lazy Susan uh, do-it-yourself part, however you want to call it. Uh, it works awesome. It's just screwed uh, in on the bottom and the top. Now, I've seen people use uh, like work light stands, uh, make their own stands. You can make one out of wood. There's all kinds of uh, YouTube videos out there on how to do it. Since I play drums, I just used a spare cymbal stand that I've got. 
with two bolts going through the bottom piece of uh, plywood and it's just clamped on there. This is a really strong sturdy stand made by Gibraltar. Great drum stands. I knew it would uh, stand, stand up to the weight. Now on the back end what I've done is I took another piece of that three quarter inch uh, square tubing attached it to the larger one inch piece and then just ran a bolt through the back with some washers. Uh, I made it a little bit longer because uh, as I add different attachments to the camera, be it a microphone, a light, a uh, fisheye lens like I'm using now, or a wide angle lens, it changes the weight of the camera. Like right now I've got my old Sony camera on here and it's heavier than my new Canon. So that weight is balanced just about right. As you can see, I'm not touching it at all, and it's just sitting there perfectly balanced. I have a five pound weight and a two and a half pound weight. And with my lighter cannon, I can just slide these weights up, and then it's balanced perfectly. When I put my wide angle lens on there, I just slide this two and a half pounder back about two inches and then it's perfectly balanced again. I made it so it could, could use it with different cameras, different attachments and uh, still maintain some good balance because that's kind of the key is to get good balance, you get smooth motion and uh, you can get some great shots with it. Okay just real quick as it's starting to sprinkle again you can see very smooth I'll let go of it and it uh, stays right there. Awesome. Goes up real high. That's pretty low. Actually, that is sitting on the ground. So it's about knee knee level right now. So very handy, and it's not too heavy either. Very portable. Uh, I made it so everything folds up. And, uh, and that is it. Now that the lighting is real great. There we go. Now you can see my bald head. Anyway, that's how I did my jib crane. I love it. And uh, it's really easy to make. Really not that expensive either. Probably about, I don't know, 50, 60 bucks worth.